and 12, there's a great and free event that's taking place at the Portage La Prairie Library. Keep watching Open Road for the billboard. We have all the details about that for you coming up. But right now, we're traveling out to Beauzeger, where a group of volunteers turned a low-lying piece of difficult land into something quite beautiful. It's sort of like... Uh addictive, eh? You see a weed and then you have to spread into somebody else's plot and get another weed. And Daphne Keck weeds her section of the garden once a week and it is a workout. For me it's like having a gym membership only it's for free. Keck is a volunteer at the Bozager Daylily Gardens and it's her job to keep this 10-foot section of the garden looking great. Keck and Mary Veldman are two of many volunteers who are also called angels. And I also am a volunteer who is considered a garden angel and I come once a week to maintain my section and uh, yeah and I pull weeds. The reason this garden succeeds is because it um, because of the angels essentially. One of the conditions of having a display garden is besides that it showcases daylilies is that it be well maintained and pass inspection. And it's just so big that you need people. Carol Bender came up with the idea in 2002 to turn this donated piece of land into a daylily garden. Please, if I happen to see anything that hops or moves suddenly that crawls, just move out fast because I'm going to be coming in a big rush. <laughs> Every year, Bender and the Garden Angels add plants, shrubs and flowers and experiment with growing things in the challenging Beauzeger climate. Today, they have 600 daylily cultivars, around 100 peonies, 300 irises, also fruit trees, gooseberries and much more. Why shouldn't we have something special here? Like This community has so much to offer. And I think sometimes if you've been here all your life, you don't appreciate it. And I know my husband and I moved here in 1990. There's so much here. And the people here are great. You know, the only thing I can tell is the difference between a weed and a flower generally. Not everyone is a gardening expert, but they all love being out in the garden. We all have a common interest, of course, the gardening. You have to love dirt. I always say you can't trust a gardener if they don't have dirt under their nails, you know. And uh, so, yeah, it's just a place to come, and, um, and it's actually quite relaxing and peaceful. When you come to weed, it's better than weeding in your own yard because you have usually other people here so you can visit while you're weeding. So it's an enjoyable activity, you know. It's a workout, it's visiting, it's socialization. It does things for me physically, emotionally and socially. The Daylily Garden is all run by volunteers who fundraise by hosting popular bus tours of the garden in Bozager area. The money raised goes towards projects that add to the garden's charm. And the feature that we're doing this year is the, um, the picnic site over there. And it's hard surfaced. It's going to have um, eventually four picnic tables. We ran out of money, so we've only got two. Yeah, yeah I think we were going to put it a little bit further that way. Okay. Maybe in that center. Okay, let's do that. Then that solves that, and that one goes there. These garden slabs will add 30 more feet of seating area for visitors and keep things changing for people coming back to see the garden. It's incredible. We've had visitors from every part of Canada, from every state. Um, people who come here bring their families from Europe or wherever they're visiting from. The Bozager Daylily Garden has three bus tours coming up in August, and if you'd like to sign up, click on BozagerDaylilyGardens.com. And if you live in the Bozager area, the garden needs 16 more volunteer garden angels, and if you'd like to help and earn your wings, call 268-3950.